My name is Kathy Ivey. I'm a staff research investigator at the Gladstone Institutes of Cardiovascular Disease, and I also direct our Gladstone Stem Cell Corps. Um, so my research here is in understanding how the heart develops and um, trying to study and model heart disease using mostly um, embryonic stem cells. So I grew up in San Antonio, Texas, and I definitely always enjoyed science and math in school. My dad was scientifically inclined, I think, but neither of my parents went to college. And so they were really supportive of education, but they didn't really have experience of navigating college or certainly graduate school or anything like that. I had a college professor, and I was taking a small class that he, that he taught, and he pushed us really hard um, and gave incredibly difficult tests but got us really interested in in particular genetics and how DNA worked and he asked me to come and work in his laboratory as an undergraduate research researcher and what I eventually became to understand was that there were opportunities for one to study biology and for careers in biology and then taking classes in biology and chemistry and physics and seeing how all those things fit together in ways that I hadn't been exposed to before got me really excited about further, further study in those areas. I, I chose Gladstone um, mostly because I've always been interested in studying disease and Gladstone focuses on studying three major disease areas. Cardiovascular disease, neurological disease, and then um, immunology and virology. And so I, I love the idea that in one building there is a whole host of scientists that are focused on just three disease areas and then we collaborate um, independently of the background that we come from. So there are people who are trained in bioengineering or molecular biology or synthetic chemistry that are all working together to tackle disease. And that's a really exciting thing that I wanted to be part of. Here at the Gladstone Institute I study hearts and how the heart normally forms in people and why in some people their heart um, is broken. And so we try and understand the genes that control how our heart forms and um, how that process can go wrong and then ways that we can intervene to fix that problem. There's basic achievements like publishing a paper that you're proud of and that's really good but um, I feel like the most important thing that I do is um, things that directly impact people. Heart disease affects so many people. Everyone knows someone with heart disease. So it's, it's a, a motivating factor, something that makes it easy to come to work every day and deal with the frustrations of science because any findings that we make can have a real impact on human health. For instance, some of the, the work that I do in collaboration with Deepak Srivastava's lab um, we study families that have congenital heart diseases and they carry genetic mutations that they know they've passed on to their children but no one in the world understands the nature of these mutations and exactly why they cause disease. So studying those types of things and being able to have an effect on a family and just their outlook on the future of, of their own family's health is is the most satisfying thing that I think I get to do. It's a long haul, but it's completely worth all the effort. There are great things about choosing a career in the sciences, which include lots of freedom in planning each, each of your days, uh, working on your own time schedule. Also, a lot of young people I think don't realize this, but when you're pursuing a PhD in and biomedical sciences, you're actually paid as a graduate student rather than having to pay a really large tuition that you're then repaying for a large part of your adult life. So there's lots of support, there's time to get it all done, and it's really rewarding in the end.